Taylor pageant. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I don't get dead. Oh <laughs> Holy shit, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that train are coming. <laughs> Anthony, remember? Oh, I'm not yeah. bad. That reminds me of the comedian we interviewed in L.A. Oh, she was <laughs> awful. What, what's the deaf comedian's name? She was know. famous for like a year. Not for the one. Ten on, minutes. Uh, I don't know. Marley Maitland. Uh, no, 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 no. Jerry. Was, oh, she's a palsy hand. It was. A, it was a stand-up. <laughs> Who knows? She was famous for, for like a year well, or two. Listen to her. I was being the deaf comedian, and she yeah. would do jokes about right. being deaf and stuff. I can't hear. Yeah, you can't. Uh, 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 uh. Well, um, we were in um, L.A. at the mm. comedy store, and we were interviewing all these people, and she came by, and she just annoyed me on a level I can't even explain, uh, she, because she was using, like... Sat down and did her act. She was doing her act, and it was all hacky jokes about being deaf and stuff, and I'm Don't like, people at me. What the night to be a deaf comedian? What? No one asks you that. No one. They go, tell her to shut up, because her voice sounds like a muted operator. It's un <laughs> no one cares why well, you're a deaf comedian. It's uncomfortable uh, to watch. Here's why you're a deaf comedian: because you can't hear and you need attention. Next question. So I'm like, you know, this just stinks. And the radio was going really bad because it was just like it wasn't our cup of tea. Yeah. So I just uh, decided to turn around and start asking her questions. <laughs> yeah. Away. Oh, be faced away because she could read lips, but you really you had to kind of um, you know. So I would enunciate. ask these, you know, these these uh, questions. As I was turned around, and they were, you know, pretty good questions for uh -huh. radio. And then you would just hear silence because she didn't know I asked her Wait, what Opie was saying to her. And it made me just laugh like an idiot. <laughs> she had the headphones on? Uh, just to try oh, to be like the other kids? I don't think she did. I don't remember no, anymore. Why would you? Just I don't think I won't need these. The advantage is I won't mess my hair up. I won't mess up my hair. Yeah, that's an advantage, all right. Sure is. Just look at that iPod like it's a funny box, stupid. Can we get her act? I'm sure it's in Dillette. We got to get her name and we got to get her act now. You think she's on uh, one of the XM comedy yeah. channels? She was famous for like, like I said, a, a year or two. I haven't heard yeah. from her in a while. We got it. Kathy Buckley. Kathy Buckley? I don't know. Is she related Kathy to Spuds? Buckley. Do we have any Kathy Buckley? We're, we're looking for Kathy oh, Buckley. We're looking for she's Kathy. This Kathy. is Kathy Buckley. I'm doing a report from a gas station in Buffalo. <laughs> All right. There's, there's no My proof. My friend is Spud. There's no proof that I was ever Spuds Buckley. <laughs> you were Spuds Buckley. Prove How, it. Is this highlighted or scribbled out? It was highlighted but photocopied. Jesus uh, Christ. It's like it's it's scribbled out, and I'm like, that's the funniest part of the story. Why would you scribble? Hold on. Let me, here, Sam. Excuse me. Open that. But it was highlighted. <laughs> yeah, goes the CD. I just wanted to put that where you wouldn't lose it. And Sam's just going to continue standing there awkwardly. This what, who scribbled <laughs> this out? I want them fired. E no, they were highlighting it. Oh, they highlighted it and then photocopied. All right, here, it. here's the original. Ant. Yeah, there makes we it go. much easier. We got the uh, we got the bio on. What's her name again? Her Kathy. Name? Kathy Buckley. Can we get a Kathy Buckley CD or some Please, audio? Of Kathy I need Buckley. audio of Kathy Buckley. <laughs> She's billed as America's first hearing impaired comedian, because it's not a comedian when it's a girl, Opie. It's a comedian. Kathy Buckley is also a, a four-time American Comedy Award nominee. Didn't win, huh? Best stand-up female comedian. In June of 98, her highly acclaimed autobiographical hit, um, uh, hit theater uh, play, Don't Buck With Me. Get it? It's Don't Fuck With Me. But since she's deaf, you can't think the emp word, right? So she go, don't buck with me. Too bad her name isn't. Uh, and it's a play on her last name. That's really cute. Should be Kathy. Nice. Kathy Bunt would be a great name for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a deaf bunt. Uh, uh, a one-woman show and tail enjoyed a three-month return Los Angeles engagement. Three wow. months, huh? What a run. At the prestigious Tiffany Theater. Don't buck with me. First open, blah, blah, blah. blah no, blah, Anthony, blah, you didn't blah, say blah, it blah. right. Don't butt with me. No, there's an exclamation what? point. Don't butt with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I cannot use an exclamation point anymore you without never thinking should. that. Don't butt with me. Sometimes I want to be excited w about what I'm typing. Yeah, my exclamation points are, are have been drastically reduced. They since should you, be. Since you've been doing that bit. They should, all, they should almost be like <laughs> down to a minimum. Like if you say yeah. something like, That's all right. Eric, if you ever hand me... 
something that is as scratchy as the other one, I'll smack you in the face! Yeah. Success, however, in the theater and other mediums was far from mine the first time Kathy stood in the world of comedy, uh, uh, stood the world of comedy on its ear. Get it? <laughs> That's fucking awful. Oh, isn't that horrible? <laughs> on a dare from a friend, she entered a comedy <clears throat> contest called Stand Up Comic Take a Stand in 98. She was nervous, not because it was her first time performing on a, a comedy on a stage, or even the fact that she couldn't hear the audience respond except by vibrations from the stage floor. What made her nervous was discovering that she was competing against comedians who had been in the business for years. Oh, no. Hey, look, Voss has been in the business for years, yeah. okay? But Kathy forged ahead. <laughs> I owe Kathy money for a miracle ear. I'm dodging her. <laughs> I'm dodging her. Uh, she uh, won fourth place there. Jesus. And then played at uh, Caroline's, Catch a Rising Star, The Improv. Uh, uh, Please get to the fucking humor in this yeah, story. Right. Right. I mean, when you got gold, why are you reading Because you can't shit. go right to the gold. You it's got gold. Point. All right. Yeah, People did. are turning off their radios. No, they're, they're not. They're going to miss the best part they of the bio. No, there's a part here that is highlighted. You have uh, to have a dynamic. This is the boring part of her life and career. And uh, she did poorly in school. Who cares? There's Who a cares funny line. Great. Wait, wait, and then. Great, wait, wait, wait. great. Funny line before you get to that. Great. Yes. The ten people that have nothing better to do than hang out through this shit are still listening. Everyone else is at fucking big trash. How about this? Her poor performance in second grade landed her in a school for retarded and <laughs> physically impaired children. Now, that's funny. It took school administrators, psychologists, and audiologists, audiologists, uh, nearly a year to discover it was just a hearing loss and not a lack of mental acuity that was uh, impeding her speech and language development. Today, Kathy shakes her head as she quips to amazed audiences, and they call me slow. And the reason she shakes her head is because it always feels like she has water in the ear. <laughs> She's always jumping on her left foot, her left heel, trying to shake it out. <laughs> All right, now you want the funny? Yeah. <laughs> She's deaf. <laughs> no, fuck it. Let's just uh, move on to something else. Please read this. <laughs> During her late teens, Kathy's life was interrupted. Hold on. She... Hold on. Please. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I know at times this is overplayed, but hold on. All right. Can you back up a little bit? I think we're all ready. All right. I'll back up like the Jeep did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Like a rock! She laid there like a rock! <laughs> uh, now, she's already deaf. During her late teens, Kathy's life was interrupted when she was run over by a Jeep while sunbathing on the beach. <laughs> Oh, is that horrible? How fucking much damage can it do? It's just gonna mush it out into the sand. That's yeah, a jeep. They're light. <laughs> well, apparently, as a result, she experienced intermittent uh, paralysis <laughs> in the leg. <laughs> Her recovery from being run over by a jeep took almost five years. Thank God, though, she recovered from the jeep. Then just six years later, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. <laughs> this woman's got stand-up comedian written all over her. That's terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> oh, that is. Why, why, now, I don't understand. That. They make fun of, here's the thing. They do the little the, the little ear thing before. She turned the comedy world on its ear because yeah. she's deaf. Why uh -huh. don't they do it a little bit later? She then came back to the scene and turned the stand-up world on its cervix. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Undaunted, she's turned roadblocks into springboards. That's nice. Springboards. Yeah. <laughs> she's turned she's turned roadblocks into speed bumps. Oh, oh damn it, I was I swear to you, beat me by a half a second. <laughs> oh, I hate you. You're just too fucking quick. I said there was a roadblock on that beach. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you have no idea. Uh, using her personal experience as a launching pad for humor <laughs> and uh, really education of others. And uh, she's been doing comedy uh, ever since. My God, she's been on everything in 1990. I don't see one year 2000 thing 
in this. Everything kind of ended you know, in 98. The problem is we have a fine comedy channel here on XM, 150. And uh, what's the other one? Any? What's the old school Laugh one? USA was clean. Yeah, what's the, what numbers? That eh, doesn't matter. I listen to 150 mostly anyway. And we can't find any of her stuff in the uh, master computer. Really? Check Laugh USA. I made the same thing. No, yeah, they just don't have anything in uh, in the master computer on her. Nothing like that? I would love to hear some of her comedy now. Maybe they're interested in other places like the NASCAR channel or traffic. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> or deep track. Deep track. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what was left in the sand? <laughs> Deep track. At that Jeep hitter, she was almost on the boneyard. <laughs> yeah, try the boneyard. <laughs> Is there a squiz joke in there? Oh, um, no. You'd have to go a long way with that one, I guess. Yeah, there's something there with the fucking thing crushing her innards. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's say hi to Pete in Pennsylvania. Pete, what's up? Okay, maybe. Yo, I know there Hold is. on, sir. <laughs> After that Jeep ran her over, her bowels were Lucy. <laughs> All right, what channel's open road? <laughs> well, we, let's get a channel guy, huh? Immediately. I got cervical cancer. They're going to have to zap me with some high voltage. <laughs> Hey, that's good news. Uh, they're getting some of her audio. Yeah? You can find some? Fio. A few minutes. Oh, a few minutes. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Fio minute. It looks like Fio Ninu Tio. I got to hear some of her. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, Steve has brought in Kathy Buckley audio. Steve? Thank God. Yeah, this this gets good. better and better because this isn't her stand up or it's part well, stand up. It's what is this? What is I this guess Steve? this is what Kathy Buckley does now. Some stand ups go into like, the. she does whole... now. The whole ca uh, the whole motivational speaker uh, thing, you know, some stand ups they'll go from they'll oh work boy. in oh boy they'll the, start off with stand up, then they'll go and oh tell no. personal stories and work it into how she wasn't you, being booked anymore. Personal was she? stories of courage as right. a motivational speaker is Correct. what she does now. But since she has a background in comedy, Opie, it's not just motivational speaking. There's there's a touch of humor to exactly. it. Exactly, like she'll tell a, a traumatic story from her own life, like how she lost her hearing, and then she'll follow it up with a joke uh, to make everybody feel and better. And that inspires. Can we play a, a simple game here on the program today? Uh -huh. We'll play the Kathy Buckley audio, and we'll try to figure out uh, what what part of this is serious and what is the joke. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this could be very difficult. All right. Okay. How are we gonna uh, decipher the two here? Um. Well, let's play it and see how it plays out. I guess when you want to guess, you just uh, we, yeah. we'll raise our hands and we'll stop the audio. Yeah. All right, here we go. Kathy Buckley. It's a uh, motivational speak, speech, motivational speak. Ing. Motivational speaking. Speaking Speech. and uh, a little bit of comedy. <laughs> yes, sister. I am here in the head. No, I am not deaf. I just don't listen. <laughs> Now, lip reading is my main source of communication, and I do have to go up to people sometimes and say, excuse me, um, but I do lip read, and I usually get this. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Serious? I've not had a date in three and a half years. Now, I don't know if it's because I haven't heard the phone ring or what. Not bad. Maybe it's the tire One tracks over your thighs. What I love is when a man kisses me on the neck. Oh, yeah. Works his way up to my ear, sticks his tongue in my ear, and gets electrocuted. It's deaf, deaf chick humor. Yeah, but she's good though. She doesn't suck. I mean, it's not it's not bad jokes. I mean, they're not as awful as I thought they'd be. They're not bad. Yeah, I know. I didn't hear the phone ring. It's you know what funny. though? Which means this segment sucks. We were no. really hoping that would be hacky stuff. You know what though? I can't take the crippled comic thing. Sorry. I don't mind it if the material's good and backs it up. Like you got to go with what's yours. Like which I, y you have to. And yeah. um, if it's good material, I don't mind it. Yeah, but it's too. It's like the whole joke. You sit there. She's deaf. All right, I'm gonna sit now through a half hour, forty minutes of of deaf jokes. Ah, no. See, those were those were uh, okay, like lines for a deaf comic, I guess, but. That's all you're going to get. Well, the next track is uh, she talks about accident that messed up hearing, among other things. Right. I was 20 years old. I was laying on a beach sunbathing. Lifeguard Jeep ran me over. Talk about not knowing what your job description is. 
The jeep ran over my face, stomach stuck, died in back. <laughs> I was like, I, that was the joke. Somebody actually laughed when he, she said I was run over by a jeep. Yeah, cause you heard, Because you, ah. you think you're seeing stand up. You I don't know. know. And then you're like, well, oh, wait, she's being serious now? Is that what caused her uh, hearing? Yeah, did that cause her yeah. to lose her no, hearing? No, 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 it did no, not. She said when she was in school. In kid, they thought she was retired. They she realized was yeah. she was. Uh, Fucked up, yeah. I guess at this point we got to introduce Club Soda Kenny because he really enjoyed that joke. Hi. Hello, peoples. Are you yeah. allowed to talk? Yes. Thank you, everybody, for everything. That's all I'm going to say at the moment. So uh, here's uh, Kathy Buckley. She, I backed it up because one dope in the audience or a couple of people were like <laughs> laughing. Is this still part of the stand I like when she, she describes... <laughs> What the Jeep hit? She has to name every organ. It was my head, chest, and neck area. I was very injured. Very injured. And my shoes came off. How did you I it? fell down the stairs and my uterus fell out. <laughs> I'm barren. I can't have children now. God damn it. Ugh. I was 20 years old, I was laying on a beach sunbathing. Lifeguard Jeep ran me over. Talk about not knowing what your job description is. The Jeep ran over my face, stomach stuck, died in back. I was laid up for five years. I died at the scene of the accident. <laughs> at least I believe I did. It was like something told me it was going to happen before it actually happened. I was laying on the beast. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I was laying there, and the shadow came over me really quick. And people were pointing at me and going, move. <laughs> beep, beep, <laughs> to make me laugh all day. <laughs> <laughs> they told me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually happened. I was laying on the beast, sunbathing. And I just got this feeling that I'm supposed to go. That I'm watching the Jeep, and I'm thinking to myself, my God, the way that Jeep is running around, someone's liable to get run over. I never thought it was going to be me. It ran over my face, stomach, set, side, and back. When it happened to me, when the Jeep ran over my face, I opened my eyes, and I saw the bottom of the Jeep. And I could see the two rear wheels coming at me. And all I could think about is I need to protect my head. So I went to put my hand up above my head, and unfortunately when I did that, the rear wheels took my elbows and took me and turned me. What? Laid up for five years. In and out of a wheelchair for two and a half years. They said I'd never walk again. I figured I didn't hear him. I got up and I left. <laughs> oh, you go, girl. Oh, you go, girl. That's right. That's right. You should have got up and sunbathed on the deck, old clumsy. That's what you get. There you go. Jeep ain't going to hit you on your own deck. Good point, mm -hmm. and good point. Mm -hmm. She saw it zipping around an hour ago, and she still laid there in the pan. Yeah. That's the last time I ever sunbathed on the Garden State Parkway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would slow down, but I was laying in the easy path lane. <laughs> that deep could hit somebody. Yeah. Get up. Fucking, she's describing looking under the thing, and he needed an oil change. <laughs> You're deaf, not blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she certainly has a cute vision. I guess uh, she tried to put her arms up over her head and her elbows. What? I don't I know. I couldn't hear her. She, I don't know. She something. Said something. She was mumbling something too much. Hysterical. I don't know. I'm she's thinking not. like it grabbed her and dragged her or something. Yeah, it probably did. It just hit her elbows. Cracked her elbows. That's wonderful. Society put labels on me. You're too tall. You're too flat. You're retarded. You're dumb. You can't. You won't. You're unlovable. Just loaded with labels all over me. Passing judgment on me. And I bought it. I believe this is who I am. Society created me to believe that I'm retarded, that I'm stupid, that I can't and I won't. I'll tell you something. I don't look very good in labels. You don't look very good on the beach either. <laughs> nice tattoo. Yes. Did that say you're good? <laughs> Long story. <laughs> oh, I don't like labels. Oh, you don't mind being the deaf comic? Yeah. That's a label you don't mind? That is a big label. 
That's the top label, right? Ooh. We need to learn to communicate with our kids. We what? need to learn to listen to them. It's not always, you do this, you do this, you do that. It's like choices. I do it with my godchild. Julia, honey, you want orange juice okay, or apple juice? She, she says apple juice. Well, we don't have any. Have the orange juice. <laughs> but she still got to make a choice. Just because you choose to have something doesn't mean you're always going to have it. Because you know for a fact that what you want and what you need are two different things. And the problem with that she raises a good point because some days you want a suntan and you need an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> this is depressing. Isn't it just fucking who's hilarious. sitting in that audience? Shit. Who is sitting there? Who wouldn't be? I'd what? be fucking howling through this. Life is tough enough. Why? Why? I'd rather hear his act. <laughs> exactly. And the problem with that is that every time we go for what we want, we miss the opportunity of what we need. What? God will always put in your path what you need. Uh, uh, you yeah. Yeah, what was in the path of that Jeep driver? What is a Jeep deaf girl? I need a deaf girl. The Jeep's brakes weren't any good. I need something to slow me down. <laughs> and God put her there. I need a useless human in front of me so I don't hit those worthwhile ones. <laughs> <laughs> Expendable. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked like it was the lifeguard who did it. He's fucking riding with that white thing on his nose, all tan and <laughs> attractive. She was probably looking at him before. Oh, I can't remember my boyfriend. Oh, he's cute. You know what happened? He was too busy looking at the hot pink of the past. It was Absolutely. right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? He saw her and just didn't feel like stopping. If, if she looked like a hot piece of ass, he would have stopped. Yeah, Betty would have. I he wouldn't wasn't mind. looking her way. I wouldn't mind rolling around in the sand with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Life's a drag. <laughs> her elbows are caught under the catalytic converter. <laughs> and she has a mullet, too. It really bugs me. Her stupid. Hey, Joyce DeWitt. Why don't you <laughs> yes, she does. Look, man. If you're going to do this crap, you got to expect to be goofed on. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is just too good. <laughs> she doesn't like Joyce to it, and apparently two's company when it comes to ovaries. What the hell is wrong with you? Holy shit. What the oh. hell? Oh, my God. What a bunch of tragedy laid into Oh, it's fucking awful. Would you guys life. like to hear one more track? Would yeah, we, let's I'd like to, Can you break course. it down into two? Just Please. so I can say we have two more to look forward right. to. Right. <laughs> we'll just play it twice. Do you ever notice when you plan things? Do you ever go, okay, now tomorrow I'm going to do this and this and this and this. And this. You're one of those? Yes. You do that? You, do that? you plan yes. all day long, right? Do well, tomorrow that. I'm going to do this. What do you do the next day? You plan for the following day, right? You want to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. <laughs> Because you ever notice, half of your planning doesn't go through. You miss an incredible opportunity right here and now. It could be with your child, it could be with yourself, it could be with anything. But you're missing right here if your mind is all the way over here. If your mind is over here, your foot's over there. <laughs> <laughs> your elbows are up here, and your ears are over there. I get what she's saying. Yeah. Live for the moment. That's it. Let's spend all your time planning. Just do. Live. Do. Don't plan. Speaking of the moment, somebody has to leave shortly. Yeah. Oh. Uh, time already? Uh, no, right. Gonna... He's got a few minutes, Kenny. Jimmy Norton's cutting class. I have to go. I, I, He's cutting class. I couldn't tell. I took a 12:30 flight. Someone's ass to kick somewhere? You got to hop on a plane? I'll give me two days notice. There I was laying on the beach and ran over my face, stomach, asshole, and toes. <laughs> <laughs> it ran over my stapled stomach. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is uh, inspiring. It's it's uh, terrific. Or yes. something. I mean, of course you feel bad. How many minutes you got?